of the Ludum Dare gathering, and because I hadn't been able to participate myself and was itching to make a game, we decided to hold a small private gathering which was dubbed the Funkiture or Funky Future. Funkiture is essentially a spoonerism of jam in French, which is confiture. We would have liked to have done a larger gathering with more people, though as always, uh, the problem is finding somewhere to hold the event. It's quite difficult to organize, especially at the last minute, a large room where a large number of people can stay for 48 hours without leaving and sleep. There are a whole bunch of insurance concerns to take into account. So we just did this at a friend's house. It was also a 36-hour jam rather than a 48-hour one. Each person working by themselves, and the theme was multiplayer games. Since this is the first ever funky tour that we've done, we're not yet sure whether all the funky tours will be about multiplayer games, or whether each one will propose a design or development constraint, or whether it will just be a random theme. That's all to be decided, and you know, we very much welcome your comments. We'd like to open it up to more people. Uh, I found it quite a, a different experience, especially because at the end of the jam, which was around 11 o'clock, we were able to play each other's games and uh, seeing other people play your game or playing your game with other people is really telling. My game was essentially an HTML5 browser game. Each player's window is their world where they have a bunch of little creatures running around eating grass and as they eat grass they gain energy and when they have enough energy they're able to be transformed into soldiers which can then be sent through a portal that links them to other players worlds and uh, by playing it with other people what I realized was there just wasn't enough feedback or when your units pass into another player's universe you send them off and they disappear from your world and you re don't really see them ever again as a result it's seemingly random uh, it's hard to tell how well you're doing how well the other players are doing and so on so one of the solutions I thought up to this was to have a sort of uh, pie chart representation of portals. So the portal to each player's world, rather than just being their color, would show a decomposition of how many units of each type in that area. And that hasn't been implemented yet, it still has a little way to go, but uh, hopefully I will be able to finish it for one of the 2013 uh, one game per month games. With regard to the 36 hour format, that is from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., I think there is something to be said for having a night to sleep on, uh, on your jam idea before starting out. The Ludum Dare, of course, for us Europeans, begins at 3 in the morning, which isn't brilliant, but it does at least allow you to get the jam theme and then to have a good night's rest before starting. So you start fresh and uh, hopefully with some ideas that have brewed over the night. In this jam, though, we started off immediately in the morning, nobody quite woken up, so I'm not sure if that's the best format imaginable. Anyway, that's all for now. Uh, I have one more screen capture video to show you, which is of the Global Game Jam. So, see everyone very soon for that.